The Washington football team squared off with the Seattle Seahawks on Monday Night Football at FedEx Field. The Washington football team won the game 17-15, extending their win streak to three games and putting them into a playoff spot. There have been three key elements to the win streak. First is a very strong running game, led by running backs Antonio Gibson and J.D. McKissick. The WFT running game has been very strong, averaging over 100 yards per game, getting key runs on third downs to extend drives. Second is a resurgent defense led by defensive tackle Jonathan Allen. Even though the WFT has lost Chase Young and Montez Sweat, the defense has seemed to improve since the bye week. Jamin Davis has improved as well, going sideline to sideline and creating havoc. Landon Collins has been a drop-down safety and caused a key fumble during the game against the Seahawks. This has made the difference in their winning streak. Speaking of defense, I wanted to give a shout-out to Seattle's Bobby Wagner. We learned during the broadcast that he has good company as being a first-team All-Pro as a linebacker. What a great career he's had. The continued dynamic play of quarterback Taylor Heineke has contributed to the winning streak. The undrafted free agent quarterback has played well, throwing five touchdowns and only one interception during the three-game winning streak. Monday night was his first appearance on Monday Night Football, and he delivered. Welcome back. The Washington football team has been looking for a franchise quarterback seemingly forever. Head coach Ron Rivera said he's not closing any doors on Taylor Heineke, who at this time last year was at home on the couch down at Lisa Salters. Steve, last Thanksgiving, Taylor Heineke had just moved out of his sister's house. He was taking online classes and preparing for finals at his alma mater, Old Dominion. He had kicked around four NFL rosters in five years, and it was the XFL which folded. So Heineke thought his playing days were done. I was hoping football, and I was training like I was going to get another opportunity, but to be honest, deep down in my mind, I thought it was over. But just 12 days after Thanksgiving in 2020, Taylor Heineke got the call. The Washington football team wanted a COVID emergency quarterback on the practice squad. And just a month after that, he started in a wild card playoff game against Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. Washington lost that game, but Heineke believes he won a job by keeping the game close and with this touchdown scramble. Touchdown Washington! Taylor Heineke with an incredible scramble to the pylon! That play might be the, the sole reason why I'm still here. I think I put confidence in the coaches, maybe in the guys upstairs, and to know that you know, I have a little grit, a little heart, and I can get it done. It was grit and heart that echoed Heineke's childhood idol, Brett Favre. It's the reason he says he wears number four and why he plays how he does. Watch the way he was passionate about football, the way he had fun out there, and that's what made me fall in love with the game. That's what kind of started the spark in my brain that I wanted to be an NFL quarterback. He's the sole reason I started playing football. Now making just his 12th career start, Heineke says he still has to prove he belongs, but can't wait to do it. I don't have the biggest arm. I'm not the fastest guy. I'm not the tallest guy, and I think what makes up for a lot of that is my mentality and playing it like it's my last play and treat it like it's a Super Bowl every game. Heineke told me he thinks about how far he's come every morning when he's driving to work to the facility. That's when he reminds himself that at this time last year, he was hoping for an opportunity just like this. Steve. The legend of Taylor Heineke actually started in week 16 of the 2020 season when he replaced an ineffect of Dwayne Askins against the Panthers. Here on a third and 10 play near midfield, we can see what has become a signature Heineke play. He scrambles out of trouble, makes the line again, first down. Later on the same drive, he drops back. It's about the 30-yard line. Scrambling around, he's going to make a play. He hits J.D. McKissick for a touchdown. As Heineke himself says, he does have some faults, and one of them is throwing deep down the middle of the field. Here in the Seattle game, a ball is intercepted. Typically, when a play does not go well for Heineke, it is this type of throw, and he'll need to improve on this as the season progresses and you get near the playoffs. 
Taylor definitely doesn't feel the pressure of the moment. Later in the game on 4th and 4, he hits DeAndre Carter for a first down. The camera angle from behind the quarterback shows what a great pass this is. Carter's in the slot, gets in between the zone, and Heineken has to put the throw over the linebackers but in front of the safety into Carter's hands. He gets it done first down. Later on the same drive, again on fourth down, Taylor Heineke takes a shotgun snap, scrambles out to the right, he's finding time, makes a sidearm throw to Logan Thomas for a touchdown. Ultimately, the play was not called a touchdown because Thomas did allow the ball to touch the ground. But it still shows the magic of Taylor Heineke, how he bought time, gives the team a chance, physically executes the play it should be executed, hits the receivers in the hand. Touchdown. If only Thomas had not let the ball touch the ground. I'm glad he learned his lesson there, not trying to go for the pylon. And the timeout, Seattle will spend another. You, you're seeing this young man grow in terms of his decision making here. Instead of trying to go for a pylon, as you mentioned, Brian, he doesn't try to force the ball in. He just slides, doesn't take any unnecessary hits. The throw just before to DeAndre Carter, I mean, He's just, he's showing Ron Rivera all the things that Ron wants to know. The question is, as an organization, are they going to allow him to be that guy if he continues to do this? Or are there going to be other outside influences that push them in another, another direction because Taylor Heineke doesn't fit the tip, prototypical franchise quarterback? That's what's going to be interesting to watch. They're going to do all their homework. They're going to look at the, the draft. They're going to look at free agents that are available. And they're going to evaluate Taylor Heineke. And there's, like I said, there's a lot of football left to play. Yeah. I would love to see Taylor Heineke go... A, a stretch at the end of this season, compete for the NFC East, potentially get into the playoffs, yep. and again to see what you can do there. All that's going to be taken into consideration whether he ends up being the guy going forward or not. Hey, Everything we need is in this room. Everybody in this room we need. We've got to work together, stay together, and be the team that we can be. Yeah.